Newfoundland and Labrador is on the threshold of becoming the location for Canada's first spaceport. The Canadian aerospace organization Nordspace proposes to develop a spaceport facility in St. Lawrence for launching small, sustainable space vehicles. NTV's Ross Tilley has the inside story. Nordspace is about to develop a spaceport facility in St. Lawrence to be used for launching small, sustainable space vehicles. Well, Nordspace is here for a very exciting reason. We're looking to build Canada's first operational spaceport here in St. Lawrence. Um, Canada has had a long and rich history in space, but we've never actually launched our own satellites to space from Canadian soil before. Uh, a big part of that is the launch site itself. Now at North Space we're building the rockets, we're building satellites, and we're building a launch site so that we have a fully Canadian sovereign solution. We traveled for the last two years around Canada to find the exact right location for this spaceport. There are a lot of factors that go into this decision, but one of them is certainly how many orbits that we can hit and that allows us to maximize our market reach. So St. Lawrence actually, being in south southeastern uh, Newfoundland, uh, allows us to hit the maximum number of orbits, the most safely, the most successfully, uh, with the best conditions year-round to maximize our launch windows. Nord Space will be specializing in small launch vehicles, and operations will take place from two locations. One site is a much smaller one um, and it's dedicated primarily to ground station equipment like satellite communication systems or rocket communication systems, radar, um, and then a small launch area where we can launch things like weather balloons or sounding rockets for upper atmospheric research and such. The other site um, is around Soccer Cove and that site is specifically being uh, designed for our two orbital launch pads. Uh, th these, th these sites would actually host the orbital launches that would take satellites and place them into orbit itself. Um, so that construction is happening uh, over the next couple of years and uh, it'll host our longer term operations. Community support for this space project is quite positive, says Rahul. And for some students of the Pierce Junior High Robotics team, it may have set the direction to a new career path. I already thought about doing stuff in engineering and robotics, but this uh, really enticed me to do it even more. Um, this presentation here today is really pulling on my heartstrings. I've always wanted to go into the medical field, but now I'm genuinely thinking about switching my courses and going into rocket science. I'm thinking the same as Sydney is here. I really, like, it really got to me. Like, I wanted to also go into a medical field, like I wanted to be a vet. But now this is like making me really debate if I should go in engineering or not because since we're already on the robotics, we already have that first step into it. Great thing for St. Lawrence that you know puts us back on the map again, uh, puts us in uh, a place in the world that uh, everybody's looking at us uh, and instead of us looking at them. See some activity again and uh, revitalize the area. It's just I think it's amazing actually, and uh, I'm super happy for the younger people that will get benefit from this more so than I will. For NTV News, Ross Tilly, St. Lawrence.